What is going on everybody, my name is KellerMateSD and in today's video guys, I'm going to be showing you a brand new after patch glitch to the out the map on Drift. Now to do this guys, all you want to do is make sure that you go into an Ecto Survival game. Once you get into an Ecto Survival game, then all you want to do is make your way over to this location of the map. From here then, you're just going to jump over into this window. From in this window then, you're just going to jump on top of this ledge. And then from here then, you're going to push forward, jump and push forward in the air and you should land on top of this lamppost. Now from here then, all you want to do is move forward and jump in the air, activate your hover and come straight to this point here. Bring out your actual grenade launcher and then all you want to do is crouch and push forward. From there then you will be on top of this little ledge there if you've done it correctly. You will be able to see them all pile up right at the back there right against that little car van. And then from here then all you can do then guys is you can jump onto the roof and then jump back onto the side of this car. So this is the only other way you can actually get outside the map guys or on top of the map because the other ways have been patched. For the Xbox One. I know it still works for the uh, old gen consoles, guys, that sell the PS3 and the Xbox 360, but it actually doesn't work for the Xbox One. So once you're actually up on top of this roof, all you want to do is move to the left here so you don't actually hit that tree barrier. Double jump and push forward and land on the side of this cart. From here, then you can actually go to the front part of the car, and then from there, you can double jump upwards and push forward and land on top of the telephone poles. So, I just want to say the fans link will be in the description, and this is the actual after patch. And I just want to say thank you guys for 8 card, that is amazing. I can't believe I've actually hit 8 card. I'm so over the moon, guys. And if it wasn't for you lot, I wouldn't be able to do it. I have actually been in YouTube for about two years now. Well, it will be two years in mad, and I'm hopefully. Hoping to actually post more than just glitch videos. I was going to do some walkthroughs eventually and some tutorials on how to unlock certain achievements and stuff. So I want to try and widen it out just a little bit, but also continue to actually plod and do glitches. I want to try and mostly actually do gameplays on like zombie games mainly because that's usually what I love. I love zombie games. I've anything to do with zombie games. I've always enjoyed that kind of field. That's what got me into Black Ops 2. I mean, when I actually first got my Xbox 360. And I started playing zombies. I didn't want to play any other game because originally I was just a gamer that used to just play games and I never do glitches or anything. But to actually get this far and actually become a glitcher and get into this whole field of doing it, I've actually really enjoyed it. I've met some awesome people, you guys that are watching. And I just want to say thank you again for all the support and all the effort you guys have put in to help me actually get here. And I will continue to make more videos. So it's been Shadow Mage Third, and I'm out. Peace. I'm your sidekick, cause I watch TV I see how life is, and it's not easy But still I'm right here